What's going on YouTube? So today I wanted to talk to you guys about these amber colored LED grill lights for the fifth gen 4Runner. So these like Raptor style LED grill lights um, came from China. It's a company called Car Trim Home. They've sent me uh, like a TRD shift knob, um, their uh, CarPlay radio, and um, I've put a couple videos out uh, regarding the stuff that uh, they've sent me and they've done pretty well. So I asked them, yo, can you guys send me uh, these the LED lights for the grill and they said sure. So they sent it over. They cost around 50 bucks. They have a uh, US stock. So the shipping doesn't take like three weeks. It's like a week or less. You can even get them in a white LED. So they have, um, it's smoked amber color, smoked white LED color, and then just a normal amber color uh, casing with the amber color LED. So honestly, the quality is like, whatever. Um, it's made out of plastic. There's no metal anywhere except for the screws. The quality of the wires they use is like thin, but I mean, you know, you're only spending 50 bucks compared to like uh, the, the USA made like $100, $150 with the metal brackets. Feel free to like ask me in the comments if they're still working or if they're doing good, because I mean, right now I've had them in my car for a day and they're still working. So um, I don't know if they're gonna be working in a year or two years from now. I really don't wanna make a, an update video just on these LED lights. So with the with your order of the lights, you can get uh, what they call like an add a circuit or a fuse tap. Um, I already had a kit from Amazon that cost me like 10 bucks that came with five. Yeah, I had that, but you can always just add that to your order. And I think it's like an extra like nine or 10 bucks. So we installed it yesterday, but um, I'm just making this video now just to have like the, like that base or that voiceover portion of it. Um, but I, I, since I filmed the whole video, I basically had my dad just do the whole installation. I'll just go over the installation with you guys. Um, the first thing we did was just pre-thread the, uh, the lights with the screws that it came with. I just didn't want the hassle of like really pressing down and pressing hard when um, we were just trying to put the lights in on the actual grill. It's just easier just to, to pre-thread it and then not worry about it later. So the next step is remove the grill cover. Um, there's 13 clips that have to be removed. Um, we struggled with it and then uh, we used like two flathead screwdrivers to take the clips off, but then we realized at the end that uh, all you really have to do is just push the middle down all the way and then you did, they're easy to come out. So just push them and then just lift them out one by one. The next thing we did was split the cable. Uh, I knew that we had to run it to the fuse box and we just needed that extra length for the ground wire. After that, we soldered the power cable to the fuse tap. Uh, and that might be a little bit extra. You don't have to solder it yourself, but um, we just wanted to do it that way and we did it. So the next step was just finding which fuse to tap into in the fuse box. Uh, we decided to go with the INJ one, which is for the fuel injection. Um, I've watched a couple of the tutorials and a couple installations and that was just one that they used. Basically, you just gotta pick one that uh, turns on when you turn the car on so the lights turn on. Whatever fuse you take out of your fuse box, you have to put into the bottom slot of the fuse tap uh, adapter cable that you have. Uh, we didn't even know that we had to use two. So in the video, uh, it shows only using one. We took out a 10 amp, so it just shows the one 10 amp that was replaced. But afterwards, we realized that you had to just put another fuse on top to have two fuses because you're making like that extra circuit. Before putting the fuse tap into the fuse, we connected the ground wire. Then after that, we plugged the fuse tap into the fuse. Then we just tested it, made sure it worked, and just got ready for the actual installation. We tried our best to run the cable as neatly as possible from the grill to the fuse box, screwed everything in, uh, made sure everything worked, and yeah, we were good to go. After that, we just used tie wraps to just clean it up. Um, we didn't even record that, it was dark. Uh, then we just put the, uh, the grill cover back on, and that's really it. 
Links for everything will be in the description, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.